Hey there, it's one of my favorite days of the month. Bargain bead boxes here. This one's called Budding Romance. Um, your beads, deep burgundy quartz, known as Malaysia Jade, stars in this month's romantic palette. Accents include rose quartz, micro-faceted garnet, and colorful crystal, enameled charms, cubic zirconia drops, and other floral findings complete this collection. You'll also find a free bonus strand of bright blue quartz beads. Um, these were meant to be a, a pale teal accent color, but the dyeing process did not go quite as the lapidary expected. So we added six by four millimeter faceted rondelles to, in deep red and also included the blue beads as a free extra. Check out our new YouTube channel for upcoming tutorials and more. Um, and then they include a list of items. Um, they've also started labeling everything so I don't even need to go off the list of items. They say the approximate retail value for the shipment is $83.83 and in a cute little organza bag. If you're interested in subscribing to Bargain Bee Box, use coupon code turquoise to get $2 off of your first box using the affiliate link in the description below. That'll help the channel, help you save two bucks. Um, and then you also get a 30% off coupon monthly if you're a subscriber to their sister store, beadboxbargains.com which has awesome deals. So uh, this is the Malaysia Jade. Um, yeah, it did come out pretty bright blue, but it's really pretty candy color. And I would say just making stretch bracelets with this would be really fun. You get at least two out of it. Um, put on, throw on a focal and easy peasy. We've got my favorite color, four millimeter crystal faceted round beads, 20 inches. And they put the approximate retail value on um, the the uh, on the labels as well. These are gorgeous. Love those. Love that they're not bicones. <laughs> Malaysia Jade eight millimeter. This is dyed quartz round bead, seven and a half inches. Those are cool. They almost look like like cranberry like slushy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I've ever had a cranberry slushy, but that's what I would uh, assume a cranberry slushy would look like. Those are really pretty and now I want cranberry slushy. I think we've gotten these garnets from them before, at least in a specific, in, you know, a different uh, size, maybe even a smaller size, but these are three by uh, to three and a half millimeter garnet micro faceted round beads, 15 inches. Oh, it's a whole strand. They're beautiful. I love these little tiny garnets. These would be a great um, spacer. 35 by 14 millimeter, 18 karat gold plated brass filigree chandelier components, two pieces. Oh, these are pretty. I like these. Oh gosh, these with the garnets, I feel like would be really, really pretty. That's backwards, okay. Yeah, we might make some earrings using those garnets with those. Approximately 32 millimeter Malaysia Jade dyed quartz uh, and brass pendant. It's a faceted teardrop. This is really pretty. Oh, that's really, really pretty. I love that. It's very clear. I really like that. That looks really nice. I want to make a necklace. I want to make earrings. I want to make a necklace. <laughs> 10 millimeter Malaysia Jade faceted round beads, seven inches. Oh, these are really pretty too. Does that match the gold or the red that was on that pendant? <gasps> it's close enough. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're making something, we're making some kind of necklace because I need that in my life. I love a red, I mean, I'm, red is not my favorite color, but I love a red necklace. I've been wearing red lipstick a lot lately. And I love having a red necklace pop from the, the red lipstick that I wear. Um, two piece, 28 by 10 millimeter enameled metal rose charms, pink. Oh, these are so cute. Those are adorable. I love, love, love these. Look at that. So cute. Next, oh, this is pretty. Uh, brass filigree flower chandelier pendant, 18 carat gold plated and it's 20 by 25 millimeter. I read all of that backwards. <laughs> um, oh gosh, that's really cute. Oh, that's pretty too. Like that would be really pretty with the garnets hanging down just like the earrings. <gasps> I can make two 
necklaces. Oh gosh, no, like it's fun when I get super inspired that I'm like, I already want to make three different pair types of jewelry from this. It's crazy for me. All right, seven by four millimeter flower space beads. I'm sure that's supposed to be spacer. Uh, lead nickel cadmium free, 20 pieces. Beauteous, I love those. Cute little flowers. <gasps> These are so cute. Uh, two piece, 31 by 18 millimeter enamel metal branch charms and peel. I love these. Oh, and they actually, f I would think that they would want to hang them this way, but they hang this way. That's cool. I love that color, obviously. And it's, it's just a really nice, I love enamel pieces. Those are super duper cute. There's a lot in this box. Um, Rose Quartz Tumbled Nugget Beads, 16 inches. Oh, these will be really cute with the garnets. Ooh, I think we'll make a necklace like this with the garnets and this guy, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. I'm getting vibes. Um, six by four millimeter crystal faceted rondelle beads, 16 inches. Uh, I know we've gotten these before. They're pretty. They're pretty. I don't know that I've ever used them before, but they're pretty. Six by four Malaysia Jade um, faceted rondelle beads, 14 inches. These are really pretty too. Do these? Oh, they, do. they did a good job of color matching. Love that. I, you know, I love it. I love being able to choose like. I love it. Uh, oh, I was just about to say, like, I need a bead cap. Six by five, or six and a half millimeter scalloped bead cap, lead nickel, I'm sorry, lead and cadmium for 10 grams. That's a bright, that's bright. It's not the same color as, that's like, that's almost macaroni and cheese yellow. But, I mean, it has its place when it's that little. Um, but I, I don't think I'd use it in the same necklace as this or no those don't those don't match either two piece 13 by 4 millimeter 18 karat gold plated brass and cubic zirconia drops i'm wondering oh i wonder if i could just like mix some of these with my some african glass that i might have gotten in tucson Ooh, maybe this is gorgeous adorable super duper cute these would actually be really cute for a tiny like a tiny kid like a child um if you just did drop earrings sorry my hands are so dry but um yeah those are really cute we've got two by five or sorry two and a half millimeter uh by two millimeter 18 karat gold plated stainless steel jewelry chain nice thin um jewelry chain 22 by 15 millimeter, 18 karat gold plated brass floral toggle clasp. Oh, this would be cute with the flower filigree. It's not quite the same gold, but it's not as off as the bead caps were. That's nice. And then I think last but not least, um, oh, I got two of the clasps. I got two clasps. That's awesome. Now I can make one into a bracelet and one into a necklace. So um, stay tuned. I'm going to make something <laughs> and I'll take you along with me. Okay. Sorry for the delay in getting this video to you, but my goodness, I said this in another video. Uh, February was wild. So um, I am going to make a necklace using these beautiful beads that I really liked in the unboxing portion of this video. Um, I am going to use them in conjunction with the teardrop. And I am going to use this flower, but I'm going to change this flower. Uh, I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut off the part that's... I wonder if... Oh, I don't have to cut it. Okay, good. I can just... You can see there's like a little opening there. Kind of like a jump ring would open. And I'm just going to swing that out. And I'm going to do that on the other side. And then I'm just going to unhook it. There's one side and there's the other so I can keep this component and use it with something else. 
but I am going to, originally the flower was positioned like this. I am going to hang it like this and hang my little gem from there. So I need to find a little jump ring. gonna be the easiest part of this necklace and then um isn't it pretty it's just such a pretty combo and then I have these collats here I'm gonna knot this necklace because I haven't done that in a while and I had some perfect I mean like this is the perfect matching Eslon color so I'm gonna use this um I have a needle somewhere here we go I'm just gonna tear off a lot of this because a lot of um Eslan is on one of these and I don't want to run out and I want to double strand going through my beads. Just my preference. You don't have to do that. Um, I'm doing two arm lengths. Two, well, more than one arm length, really. I'm just probably cutting way too much, but I don't want to run out and then I have to figure out how to knot onto the necklace. So... All right, so I'm gonna thread my needle and I'm just gonna move that to the middle of the, the thread I have here. And then I am going to knot the ends together, like right here. I'm really I'm not a huge red fan, like I like it in certain situations and this is a really pretty red. Like it's never gonna be my go-to color but this one's really pretty. It's like a nice cranberry wine color. All right, so I have my knot. Find the other end, and I'm gonna come through my little collot here, move that all the way down. Actually, I'm coming through the wrong end. Come all the way down. I think we're gonna see that I used way too much cord, but oh well. That's who we are on this channel. And I'm just gonna close that up around my knot for now. And then I am gonna string on um, my first bead. And I'm gonna start, because this is going to connect right to our flower here. The collat's gonna connect right to the flower. Um, I am going to start with a red bead because we already have a piece of gold right there. So let me cut open these rondelles and then I brought out some gold beads so I have I don't think I want to use these this is from a past box I didn't really want to use the flowers that were in this box because they're not really close to that color I did get out some these are just from like Michaels from a million years ago they're not the right color though I had a really hard time matching this gold color um and then I had these beads from Carmine from a couple years ago from a friend mail. And there actually is a very close gold in there. Not this one, but like this dusty color. So I might use some of these, I don't know. But I did get these out. I got these from a bead store downtown and I love the, the Stardust look. I don't know if it's showing up very well on the camera, but I really love the Stardust look with, it, it almost looks like the same kind of texture that's on the pendant, even though the pendant's like filigree, it's not the exact same gold, but I'll put them far enough away that you're not going to be able to tell. And I like how it's going to bring some extra oomph into the project. So I'm definitely going to be using these. They're close. Uh, maybe they're not close. Yeah, they're close enough. But I just have to get the right gold. I have to be careful when I'm choosing these, and there probably aren't that many in the baggie, but I think it'll be fine. So I have some several of those picked out, um, but if I need more, there are more in that bag. Uh, I'm gonna find the end of my cord, and I am going to put on one of my little rondelles here. And when I do knotting, I do 
um, use knotting pliers, beetle on knotting pliers to do my knotting because every other tool I've ever used just did not work the way that I wanted it to. And um, this one's just the one that I always have success with. So I'm just gonna move that all the way down to my collot there, make sure it's right up against, and then I'll just come through and make a loop. Pull this through. And then when, before I tie the knot, I'm gonna come in with my pliers and snug those, like I'm gonna grab the, the Esalen cord right up against that bead, and then I'm gonna pull, but I come through the middle of that loop while I'm tying it. Sorry, the camera's in my way, so it's kind of hard to do this. And then you just pull tight. And then, then I'm just gonna snug down right up against that bead. Now, if you wanted to use a contrasting color for um, the beads, that's totally cool. I just love that I had a color that matched so closely that I wanted to go with the red. Um, I'm gonna show this like one or two more times, but I'm not going to sit here and knot while we're um, filming because it's just, it's the most boring thing ever to watch, but it's fun to, it's fun for me to do. Um, I just have to figure out a pattern. I didn't really do that. I think I'm gonna do like two of those, then a little gold, then a big bead, then this bead. No, I'll do two beads. Then a big bead, then two beads, and then a gold, and then we'll do two more of these. So that's gonna be my pattern until I have like not enough of these left um, because those that was a short strand. So, and those are gonna go fast and then I'll just finish knotting up the back with these. So um, I'm gonna show you again, put on a rondelle. Move it down. Do a loop through. You're gonna come and snug up with your pliers right against that bead and pull. And then I will move down with my knotting pliers. All right, so I've already got two beads. I am gonna do half the necklace and then attach onto the clasp set that came with the, the kit this month, the box, and then I will do the other side as well. Okay, so I ended up redoing the end because I did not like the smaller beads on the end. I just started with the chunky beads. Um, so the, this will get connected to the flower. I'll show you how to do that in a second. I'm gonna come in with some I don't know, something a little bit more precise than my nippers to get off some of this fuzz from that thread. Um, and then uh, what I did was string on these two by two and then put on my larger gold beads. And then at the end, I just strung on a section of the smaller rondelles because I didn't want it to be knotted in between and I was really tired of knotting at that point. <laughs> so then I did the exact same thing on this side and I'll show you how I put the collot. It's um, pretty much the same, same way that we did on the other side, but it's kind of backwards. So I'm looking for my second one. So um, instead of going on this way when we started, coming through like that, I'm gonna go through like this and move it all the way down to my beads. And you do not have to stretch 
this cord. This is not like silk cord, it is nylon. Um, it might stretch a little bit over time, but it doesn't need to be pre-stretched like um, silk does. Silk, you really do need to do that. And then I'm just gonna put that right up against my rondelle. I am gonna do a knot here. And it's really just that same principle of coming through your loop right up against where you want your knot to be. We're coming down there and just pulling it tight. Now with these end finding or the endings, you want to really be careful because sometimes it tries to get the knot underneath the clot or get the clot inside the knot and it's just a little frustrating. But just take your time. Slide that down. And you can put glue. I haven't glued any of these. Um, I'm using my uh, fabric scissors to cut this. There we go. And then I'll just close that up. There we go. That one's like the best one that I've done so far. Um, and then I'm just going to take some jump rings to attach my clasp and the piece to our pendant. So I'll take my pliers. dented my collat on this one because I was squeezing it too hard and then by that point I was just like oh, oh well we're gonna have a dented piece <laughs> so um, if I was selling this or anything like that I would probably have redone it but yeah it adds character nothing can be perfect and then I will go ahead and do the exact same thing on this side So pretty. I just love this color combo, gold and red. Let's see. And we'll do the exact same thing. I just gotta unconnect these. Is there a hole in this jump ring? All right. So here is our finished piece. I love, look at this glass. It's got flower on it. And then the, the st this is a flower and a stem. That's so cute. And here is our beautiful necklace. I got to trim that somehow. Um, maybe burn it off with my thread zapper or something. But I just love it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. You know me, I love anything that's a statement piece or I can layer it or something like that. So well, look at that. It, they did a really great job color matching everything this month. Love, love, love that. And then I still have tons of these beads left over the, the rondelles. Well, maybe tons is very optimistic, but I still have several of these left. Um, and I really liked um, this filigree piece. So let's just do a really quick, I mean, I'm sure you don't need my direction on how to do this, but let me see if I can find some ball head pins. I don't know how, but I've misplaced a million ball head pins and thankfully I was able to scrounge around and find six <laughs> or seven here. I'm just going to put that on. Do I want to just do one? a 
for working on those pliers. And then I am just going to do the same thing to the other sides of the dangle. All right, so here is the dangle once I did two on either side. I love this. So pretty. It's prettier in person. I always say that because this camera is not the best. And then um, I am just going to hook this on an ear wire. That and then close up my ear wire and we've got a really pretty pair of matching earrings they're super adorable and uh, I love this necklace I love it so much even though it's red <laughs> um, I tend to wear one or two I tend to keep one or two red pieces in my rotation um, I can think of two off the top of my head um, right now and this will be the third so uh, I'm super excited about it thank you so much for watching if you want to subscribe to bargain bee box use coupon code turquoise for two dollars off of your first box and there's an affiliate link in the description of this video hopefully you can use that to purchase your new subscription um, if you have any questions let me know in the comments hopefully you enjoyed the video please like subscribe and share and stay tuned for goldie she's the most important part have a good day bye bye Did you get a bath today? Yeah. That's not your favorite thing, is it? <laughs> now you're on your pillow. Oh, hi Goldie, you're so cute. Yeah. And you smell great. You're not stinky anymore. Oh.